Hi, today's lecture is about the human skeleton. The human body consists of 206 to 213 bones, depending on your reference point. Uh, the skeleton is divided into two major systems, axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is divided into the skull, sternum, ribs, and the vertebral column along with the sacral bone and coccyx. The appendicular skeleton consists of the shoulder girdle, arms, hands, legs, foot, and the pelvic bones. From here, we're just going to do a quick overview of the basic anatomy of the body, head to toe. And then as we go later in the video, we'll go into a little bit more detail. First bone is up here at the top. This is called the skull. From here, we're going to go a little bit into inferior. Sternum has some uh, good anatomical landmarks you should know. The first is the manubrium. The top part of the manubrium has a little divot right here. It's called the jugular notch. Some places will call it a jugular notch. This little line right here, there's a little bump. And that's a good landmark to know because the thymus gland sits right behind it. And when you're a little kid and growing, that organ hypertrophies and it pushes the cartilage out. And then as you get older, the cartilage turns to bone. Hence, you have a little bump. When you're doing CPR, sometimes they tell you to find that landmark and go a little bit below that, about two inches below it to do your compressions. This is the body of the sternum. And this little point at the very bottom, this is called the xiphoid process. You want to be careful again with CPR and on that landmark because it has a little sharp point to it. And if you break that, you might risk the possibility of rupturing your lungs. Let's come back to the top. This is the clavicle bone. That is the scapula. The upper arm consists of the humerus bone. The radial bone is always lateral in an anatomical position. So the radial bone is always touching or on the side of the thumb. The ulna. The vertebral column has many different vertebrae. We'll just kind of highlight one of them. This is your vertebrae. These are your lumbar vertebrae, uh, lower part of your body. This is the sacral bone coccyx. The pelvic bone is, consists of three different parts. The ilium or iliac bone, the pubis, and the ischium. The back part of the ischium has what we call the ischial tuberosity. That's that bone that you sit on. Um, when your backside goes numb, that bone is compressing the muscles. When your backside is running out of oxygen, this is why we kind of nudge one side and the other side. This is the femur bone. This little guy is the patella. Here we have the tibia on the medial side. The fibula. These little guys right here, these are called the tarsal bones. Metatarsal bones and phalanges of the foot. In the hand, we have eight bones right here called the carpal bones, metacarpal bones, and phalanges.